plate of Africa is moving at a rate of one centimetre per year against and underneath the Eurasian plate and in 10 million years the Mediterranean Sea will no longer exist. The landscapes of southern Spain and northern Morocco share so many geographical features. The climate, the flora, the fauna are all the same and as well as that there's this ongoing history of, of trade, mobility, migration and colonisation. To consider these overlapping interconnected landscapes, I made a journey um, across northern Morocco from Tangier towards the Algerian border and made a series of landscape photographs. And then made an intervention in the Spanish landscape by placing three of these images on, on billboards in specific locations in Murcia. The billboards themselves are a reminder that landscapes are palimpsests. I'm really interested in how people's actions and power shifts can be traced, they can be read in the landscape and the act of placing one landscape inside another, so in this case the southern hemisphere into the northern, creates a space to contemplate not only their shared topography but also this complex web of this ongoing connection of trade and mobility, occupation. You make this work and you don't know if it's actually going to function. The way I wanted this work to function was that it, it, I'm interested in this idea of photography acting as a portal. How can a, how can a 2D image not close you off but allow you in and allow your way to think about these places and not only what's in the image but give you a sense of, of what's above and below and around the image. Um, and that's thinking about photographs not only as 2D images, pictures, but also as um, material objects as well. And this became so apparent when I was installing the work and when I was installing the billboards. And I had all sorts of problems installing the work and um, arrived to find on the first day when I went to photograph the work, arrived to find that um, it had been raining for four days and it doesn't rain very often in southern Spain. And the billboard poster um, installers had put the posters up anyway and when I arrived they were sopping wet and literally flapping in the wind um, and it was this it was just a really sharp reminder that they are material objects and landscapes this layering landscapes as palimpsests and literally being able to peel off the layers of landscape and look underneath and see what traces of history might be there or what suggestions for the future might be there People were using them as a way of considering what might be in this place or what might have been. Um, so, for example, the image where the, the mountain on the billboard runs into the mountain in, in Spain. A local woman was very concerned because she owned part of that land and she, she um, was thinking that this, this poster was advertising a new development that was going to be built there. I understood more clearly how the installation operated and how the images in a gallery framed works then operated. My understanding was that one is about place and one is about time. So the billboards encountered in Spain have got no text with them. With no text caption to tell you that one of the locations is Morocco, people assume that they're Spain and people assumed that they were something that was, had been in that place before or was coming to that place and they read them in that way. When the images have been exhibited in a gallery context with a short te text caption, the location in Morocco placed in the location in Spain. But that gives you a way in, you immediately understand the game. Ah, right, this is about, this is about place. This is about connecting landscapes.